Welcome to the shooting show. This week it's a high seat stint with Stuart Wilson. Using the Blazer Ultimate Rifle, he gets some unexpected results. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. We join Stuart Wilson as he heads to a high seat on home turf. It's the back end of the buck season and we're trying to get one more deer in the larder. An earlier footstock yielded nothing, but the wind is favourable and this high seat has been providing good results all season. There's a wide field of view here with the sides of the box opening up to provide a safe shooting arc in several directions. Of course, it's all to no avail if nothing shows up. Time to watch and wait. It takes nearly an hour before we see our quarry, but not the one we were expecting. As a courtesy to the gamekeeper, we will take a fox if we see one. This one's out in the open with a safe backstop behind it. Stuart just needs it to pause and offer a shot. Well, we had a morning session um, with no, no deer showing, um, southerly wind, which is wrong for both the two main seats that look over this large pasture, particularly this seat, which is a really, really quiet area. Um, so we opted for the rabbiting seat um, that's on the new, new drilling, um, 
and basically they were only, only rabbits out so no luck this morning. Um, fortunately the wind has switched, it was westerly as we sort of got into the seat um, and now it's pushing even more, a little bit of, nor a little bit of um, north in it as well. So it's pushing you know, into, into our face which is quite nice. Um, and obviously sneaking through the nettles which is a little bit of a nightmare because um, you're disturbing the area but because the wind is sort of pushing we've managed to sneak into the seat. We've sat for maybe like 45 minutes, 50 minutes and then we've been rewarded with a beautiful um, what looked like a dog fox to me. I'll go down and have a look at it in a minute. In a minute. Um, beautiful dog fox that's come out through the fresh bit of drilling that's been reclaimed on this area um, and he was in the, the long grass jumping about mousing and then he sort of made his way along the track through this bit of fresh pasture um, and then at one point completely jumped out of frame which was you know it's beautiful to see um, but we have had issues with um, partridge pens on the next farm that have been sort of broken into So it's an end of a difficult day's um, buck stalking, wind wrong in the morning which kind of left us with one seat of the three um, and no fox or, or bucks showing at all. Um, some of the bucks on here have been giving me the run around little in that they come up this far boundary which is, you know, it's a, it's a good distance, it's a little bit out of range really rifle wise and I'm not comfortable with the, the safety aspect on the shot. Um, I've had a couple of bucks coming through the wood near my um, squirrel feeder. They seem to have uh, taken ownership of that area a little bit. Um, and on the trail camera, I have one buck coming to that area um, where he's been fraying one of the limbs on the Leyland eye. Um, and then a, a day or so later, a smaller buck had come in and he'd just touched one of the branches that this other, the bigger buck hadn't frayed. And again, the day after that, the big buck came back and he's, he's straight on the area where the little buck had only just given the slightest of nibbles. Um, so there are bucks to go at. Um, I failed in my mission today to try and get onto a buck, um, but we managed to tidy up a fox, which is, is always a, a, a positive thing if it's a nice clean shot. Um, I'd like to cover a little bit the rifle that I've been using. Um, it's a rifle that I reviewed in, in Sporting Rifle um, I think a, a month or two months ago. It's the R8 Ultimate Silence. Um, and some of the key features of the gun um, and some of the things I've liked about the gun, to be fair, it's very short and compact. It looks a lot heavier than it is. It's a light rifle. I could shoot this rifle standing and put a decent, consistent group in at 100 yards. Um, no problem at all. I would always prefer to shoot from sticks, but just a testament to you know how light the rifle is and how pointable it is. If there is any weight there with it being short, obviously the centre of, of gravity is, is further back on the rifle which makes them a damn sight easy to shoot. Um, a lot of you will be familiar with the straight pull action um, from the R93 and, and now the current model E R8. Um, it's a very quick straight pull action so no issues whatsoever there. The trigger group drops out with the magazine in. Um, you can get four rounds into the magazine, close the bolt on an empty chamber, and then still install the trigger group and magazine in, which is what I tend to do when I'm getting into the high seat. Close the, the bolt over an empty chamber, um, but I do like, a, a, if it's at all possible, a full magazine underneath that. Some of the other features on the R8 Ultimate Silence, the adjustability, all sort of tool free. So the cheek piece adjusts with this simple button and basically pops the cheek piece up and then you rate with it depress, raise and lower and get it to exactly where you want. I've only had it one or two clicks high to get straight down the middle of this scope without any issues with comfort whatsoever. The butt pad adjusts for drop so you can put it higher or lower into your shoulder depending on your frame, your shooting style, your own preference, all tool free and then Adjustable for length as well, again, tool free, nothing when you unfasten that's going to drop off. So literally, if you want a little bit of extra length onto the gun, get it into one of the uh, detents, the little clicks, drop the lever and she will stay where she is. A little bit of height on her, away you go.
all tool free. To be fair, I've tended to leave the butt stock exactly where it is and shot it without any issue. Nice comfortable butt pad on a rifle that doesn't recoil a great deal anyway. The barrel inside this chamber, the silencer chamber, and the rifle is fully unloaded. There's a dinky little 16 inch barrel there for a 308 and accuracy wise it's been producing some stunning groups the little 123 Seiko game head and very quiet in operation as well. Um, how it compares with a, a muzzle mounted, I think to be fair you'd be splitting hairs if you were talking about the, the sound report. Where this really gains for me is its handling and pointability. It's a short squat little rifle that's fully moderated. Stuart doing well to bag an unexpected fox there. And now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The latest crop of lottery funded British shooters has been announced. Eight Brits made it onto the British Shooting World Class Performance Programme, meaning they have a realistic chance of winning an Olympic medal within the next five years. Shotgun has dominated the list with Matt Coward Holly, Aaron Heading, Kirsty Barr, Nathan Hales, Amber Hill, Ben Llewellyn, and Jeremy Bird all making the cut. Shona McIntosh is the sole rifle shooter to get funding. Speaking of Shona McIntosh, she said the controversial exclusion of shooting from the next Commonwealth Games could actually be a good thing. She said the decision could raise standards as those at the top of the sport would be forced to raise their game because they'd be aiming for the Olympic or European Games instead. But she admitted that inevitably people at entry level would be put off from shooting. McIntosh is expected to travel to Tokyo next year and said she has no idea how she'll react to competing in her first Games. All shooters need to step up their environmental game. That's the message from shooting organisations in response to the new Environment Bill. Priorities of the bill include improving air and water quality, tackling plastic pollution and restoring habitats to allow plants and wildlife to thrive. Basque said shooters are continuously rising to new challenges, such as reducing the use of plastic wads and improving recycling, and should look to play a key role in meeting the government's environmental targets. And finally, with voting open for the Great British Shooting Awards 2020, we take a look at one of the categories you can have your say in. This week it's the Shotgun Ammunition of the Year Award. And the nominees are Ely Hawk VIP Steel Pro Eco Wad, Game Ball Black Gold, Hull Cartridge Comp X, Hull Cartridge Pro Fibre, William Powell Blue Lightning. You can have your say in who wins. Head to GreatBritishShootingAwards.com to vote. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show. <laughs>